In recent weeks, protesters in cities large and small across Wisconsin have been rallying for police reform following the death of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police. Daryl Keaton is seen as a leader among his peers in the Wausau community and has been advocating change during demonstrations. He joins us this week with his perspectives on the racial justice movement in central Wisconsin. Mr. Keaton, thanks very much for being here. Yes, thank you for having me. So you founded an organization in 2011 there in Wausau. Tell me about that and, and why you started it. So I developed the program to work with at-risk youth. We wanted to catch the youth before entering junior high or high school. And we wanted to work with them through the um, school education board um, to identify kids who are struggling with um, attention deficits, behavior issues, um, et cetera. And when that situation took place with George Floyd, it just woke something in me. And I knew then that I needed to act, and I needed to act swiftly in my community, because I don't want something like that to happen here in my community in Marathon County. And so when you say you needed to act and you needed to act swiftly, what did you do? Well, the first thing I did was I uh, reached out with some of the other um, members in the community that I worked alongside uh, in the past. And I s went out myself and my two granddaughters, and we did a peaceful protest. And after me and my granddaughters went out and did a peaceful protest, we, it sparked a movement. The next day, we had over 300 people come out and join us. I just don't want to see something like that happen here in Marathon County. Um, and so if you jump out in front of it before it comes to your doorstep, then you can, you know, work with your law enforcement and make sure that we can bridge that gap between the African-American community here and law enforcement. And we are working hard um, since this to bridge that gap. And uh, I can probably say that myself, uh, with my mayor and my chief of police, we have really been working together um, on some things to kind of help bridge that gap. Uh, I can say that we will officially, uh, next year, we'll celebrate Juneteenth um, in the city of Wausau, which has never happened in the history of this community. So I, I just think that having something here for the Black community will continue to bring positive to our community. It's so cool that you were able to tell us that Wausau is going to be uh, celebrating Juneteenth next year. Yes. That's yes, it is. It is. Um, I uh, met with uh, my mayor, and I've uh, been in constantly contact with the chief, and uh, we think that that would be a really good uh, start uh, as far as yeah. uh, bridging that gap and to celebrate uh, Juneteenth here and have it, you know, on the 400 block because we want all people to come together. We don't want it to just yeah. be about, you know, one race of people. We want all people to come together. And we want the black community to feel like there's something here for them. Um, and so I work hard to try to make sure that we can bridge that gap. And I'll continue to fight for the people of Wausau, Wisconsin. This is my mm -hmm. home. You have said that... Um taking part in, in demonstrations or uh, vigils or, or marches, it now seems to you as though white people are listening and, and joining in. Uh, how important is it to you that that happens? It's very important. I've said uh, all along that we as a people, as the black community, we cannot uh, tackle this systemic racism that has plagued our country for 400 plus years. We cannot do this alone. We have to have 
good white people to stand with us to defeat racism in this country. And you have to start with the head of this uh, uh, systemic racism in our country. And I feel that starts at the top, which is our government. And if we, if we can start there and trickle down to the middle class and the lower class, then maybe we can make greater changes in this here in, in, in America. What, what kind of dialogue have you seen happening on matters of race that might not have been happening uh, before the killing of George Floyd and, and demonstrations over that? Changes are, are occurring every day. Um, I just, like I said before, I feel that this time is different. It feels different. Um, and I do believe that we as a community, as, as a whole, if we continue to stand together, hate cannot defeat love. Do you expect protests and demonstrations to, to continue in your part of the state? No, I don't. Um, I think at this point, things are, are going accordingly to um, how they should. And I think if they continue on the path that they are, I do believe that we'll be okay with it. So you feel as though the lines of communication are open and yes. uh, white people, as you said, are listening. And yes. you, in fact, have been, been able to already make some tangible change. And so you see more of that coming? Correct. Yes, I do. All right. We leave it there. We really appreciate you checking in with us and uh, telling us about the things that are happening in central Wisconsin. Uh, Daryl Keaton, thanks again. Thank you for having me. And you all have a blessed day.